evening. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products, the Longevity business, my true skin health formulation, something you may have heard about or read about on the internet or anywhere, and you want clarification, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to comment on our, on our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of... The longevity products you hear advertised are recommended, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and start a longevity business, earn thank you checks once a month, like clockwork, as little or as much as you want. If you want the tax benefits, tax write-offs, write-offs associated with having your own business, if you want to make your own hours, if you don't want to have a boss, or if you want to be your own boss, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you understand the power and the Uh, the absolute joy of being a successful entrepreneur. And if you want to participate, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on inventory and infrastructure, Longevity is a business you want to know about. You can help change lives and make money at the same time. 866-735-2470 is a phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. You can also head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the website or order products right off the website as well. Okay, we are going to be talking to weight loss buddy, Mr. Jim Dweck, in our uh, bottom of the hour about his website, Weight Loss Buddy. He is a, uh, I guess you call it a weight loss coach. He helps people lose weight, and he's got some interesting take, uh, interesting takes on how you go about losing weight effectively and quickly. We'll be talking to him about weight loss uh, at the bottom of the hour. And then that means we'll take your phone calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. We'll get your phone calls in our next segment, and we'll try to get to, uh, well, we'll probably probably get a few calls in, but uh, if you have questions, don't save them to the bottom of the hour because we're going to have Mr. Jim Dweck on uh, talking about weight loss at the bottom of the hour. All right, we're talking connective tissue on the bright side, the key unifying element when it comes to disease. It's the theory of everything. In physics, they're obsessed with a theory of everything. They're kind of can't figure out how to combine quantum physics with theory of relativity, how the small relates to the big, and for decades they've been trying to come up with what's called a theory of everything, a big toe, T-O-E, a big T-O-E. Well, a theory of everything when it comes to disease is the connective tissue. It underlies everything. It forms the basis of everything in the body, physiologic, from a physiologic perspective, from a structural perspective, and from a biochemical perspective. Thus, it makes sense that this is the unifying feature of all diseases. The connective tissue not only unifies the cells and the organs and the glands and the tissues and the structures into one homogenous whole, it unifies all diseases into one homogenous whole. This is the theory of everything when it comes to disease. There's no such thing 
as a disease that does not have some connective tissue involvement, whether we're talking destruction of connective tissue, as in autoimmune diseases like lupus or scleroderma or heart disease, all of these kinds of destructive elements involve fibrosis, which is the, the calling card of connective tissue disease. When I say there's no such thing as a disease that does not affect the connective tissue, what I really mean is there's no disease that does not have an element of fibrosis associated with it. And this is where the term sclerosis and stenosis and fibrosis and fibroids, this is where all these terms come from. They represent the body's repair um, attempt to repair damaged connective tissue, and they, it will always precede our disease symptoms. There's also connective tissue toxicity. Remember, the connective tissue is the great dumping off ground of blood toxins. Usually you have everything. You've got destruction of connective tissue, fibrosis of connective tissue, toxicity of connective tissue. The quintessential connective tissue disease that manifests all of these ideas is fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia basically means muscle fiber pain. And fibromyalgia is the very definition of messed up connective tissue. Messed up connective tissue equals fibromyalgia. The thing about fibromyalgia is it affects the whole body because 70 to 80% of the body is made up of connective tissue. So if you've got a connective tissue toxic, an issue with connective tissue toxicity, you're going to invariably end up with some kind of pain, some kind of fiber pain. A fibromyalgia patient, of course, has it dramatically, but fibromyalgia is kind of a generic term. It just means muscle pain, and the muscle is intertwined with the connective tissue. The health of the muscle, like the health of anything else, is dependent on the health of the connective tissue. Interestingly, fibromyalgia is a female disease. It's a woman's disease. 80 to 90 percent of patients who have fibromyalgia are female. It affects maybe four or five million Americans. And by the way, it's not just females. 80 to 90 percent are females, but that still leaves a significant amount of sufferers, of patients of fibromy uh, fibromyalgia patients who are men, as well as children, although because of the relationship of toxicity, because it's a, basically a, fibromyalgia is a toxicity disease, it takes a lot of years. So children can have fibromyalgia, but if you have a kid who's been diagnosed that way, that's a kid who's in really bad shape. It, takes, it usually takes decades for fibromyalgia to show up, and most people who have fibromyalgia are in their, in their 30s or 40s, occasionally in their 20s, if you have the younger, the younger the age that you get diagnosed with this condition, the more toxic you are. Usually it takes about 30 or 40 years to accumulate as much toxicity. And make no mistake about it, fibromyalgia is a toxicity issue. Fibromyalgia patients will often have tender points, specific places on their body, on their neck or their shoulders or their feet or their legs, where you just kind of touch and it can cause a, just a, not even a, a serious touch. Just a little light touch can cause a bunch of pain. That's, an acute, that's a deposit of toxicity. That's a toxicity dump that you've just touched. That's what a tender point is. And fibromyalgia, by the way, is not just about pain. Yes, that is the hallmark sign of fibromyalgia, and it's probably the most dramatic and prominent symptom of fibromyalgia. But it's more than that. Fibromyalgia can cause fibro fog. That's what they call this brain fog condition that fibromyalgia patients have. Confusion, memory problems, learning, learning issues, uh, difficulties concentrating. All of these are, are signs of fibro fog, which many, I'd say actually most of the fibromyalgia patients I've talked to, if their cases were severe enough, were dealing with this kind of issue. Again, this gives a clue to what's going on. There's toxicity in the blood. Toxicity in the blood invariably is going to affect the brain. Insomnia, headaches, muscle stiffness, especially in the morning. We all have a degree of that, but the fibromyalgia patient has it really badly first thing in the morning. PMS, light sensitivity, ten uh, temperature sensitivity, sometimes migraine headaches, chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue syndrome is actually part of fibromyalgia syndrome because when the connective tissue and the muscles are dealing with all of these kinds of inflammatory effects, invariably it's going to make you pooped, it's going to make you tired, not to mention all the, uh, the effects of cortisol. All right, got more to say here, and uh, we'll take your phone calls when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. All right, 
We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. We're going to be talking to Joey Dweck. I think I said Jim Dweck at the uh, beginning of the program. It's Joey Dweck. Uh, he's a weight loss coach. He's got some really neat ideas about intermittent fasting, as it turns out, and weight loss. Where have you heard that before? It's a hallmark of what we call the bright side philosophy is the idea that intermittent fasting can not only be important for weight loss, but it's also important for muscle building. It's also just a good idea to give your intestine a break. For many of us, our intestines have never gotten a break our entire lives. We could be 40, 50, 60 years old and never given our digestive system a break for more than a few hours. And with this crazy idea that you don't hear as much anymore, but you still hear it from the mainstream of grazing all day, of snacking all day, of never giving your digestive system a break. Many of us are, are laboring under the illusion that that is somehow good for us. Never give your digestive system a break. What part of the body, aside from the, the circulatory system or the heart specifically, doesn't slow down and get a break? Even, you know, we sleep, everything gets a break a little bit of a break anyway. The digestive tract for many of us is working nonstop, 24-7, and it doesn't have to be this way. And intermittent fasting can be a powerful anti-aging. In fact, it is a powerful anti-aging strategy. Fasting is the only known replicatable strategy that we can use to definitively increase our lifespan. Now, we know that there's other things we can do, but shown in laboratory and clinical studies over and over and over again, intermittent fasting, reducing insulin levels, uh, lowering caloric intake in general, is the only definitive replica uh, replicated in scientific studies mechanism for anti-aging or, or increasing longevity. We'll be talking to Joey Dweck about uh, intermittent fasting and weight loss. In our next segment, time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010. i got tons to say about fibromyalgia. If you're, you're dealing with it or you know anybody dealing with it, we'll be talking about it for uh, at least a day or two, and we'll talk about what causes it, really, even though doctors say they're mystified about what causes it. We'll talk about what causes it, and we'll talk about what you can do about it as we continue talking about the health of the connective tissue and its relationship to the health of us. Okay, 844-236-6010, welcome to the Bright Side, Rodney in Texas. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I had a couple of questions about supplements. Uh, okay. I went. And, uh, I was investigating uh, niacin or vitamin B6, and I noticed there's so many out there, it's confusing. And well, I now, hang, hang, hang on a quick second. You mean niacin, vitamin B3, or do you mean pyridoxine, vitamin B6? Uh, B3. Okay, B3, niacin. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal nutrient. It's the only vitamin that is actually made by the body itself. Now, vitamin A and D, or D is made in the skin from the action of the sun, and vitamin A is made by certain bacteria and also... Uh, uh, let's see, there's a, couple, oh, there's a couple B vitamins. There's another B vitamin, thiamin, I think, can be made by bacteria. But niacin is actually made by the body itself, and it's the only vitamin as such. And that, that tells you how critical and how important it is. I mean, it, it's a medicine. And we used to keep it back in the pharmacy. We would always keep a couple of bottles of something called Nicobid, which was timed to release niacin. The very same stuff that Dr. Wallach came out with about a year ago, or a couple years ago now, uh, the ultimate niacin. It is a absolutely stupendously valuable nutrient for many reasons. What, did you have a specific question? Well, uh, which one causes the flush? And, I, and this nicotino acid, what is that? Yeah, go with, there's various forms. That's a good question. There's various forms. Go with the timed release form. Okay, the most, the most common form you'll see is something called, uh, uh, well, there's niacinamide and there's nicotinic acid. Those are the two major forms. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay, so the best, and, and what you're alluding to is what's called the, uh, the niacin flush. And this is, um, this is a very interesting kind of reaction that's manifested, that's caused by the manifestation of, of blood vessels opening up. Niacin is a vasodilator, and this accounts for many of its benefits, is the fact that it will cause vasodilation. However, if you don't have enough niacin and your body sucks it up real quick, or if you take too big a dose of niacin, that vasodilation can be very uncomfortable. It's called the niacin flush, and, will, and when I say vasodilation, that's just a fancy way of saying the blood vessels are opening wide. 
That increase in blood, uh, blood flow as the vessels open wide can be interpreted as a flush. But it's not necessarily a bad thing, even though, um, even though some, folks will, some folks will obviously find it unpleasant. So uh, no flush niacin, products that are called no flush niacin typically will be without something called nicotinic acid. If it says niacin, that's nicotinic acid for the most part. This is the substance uh, that has been associated with, um, with cholesterol lowering, but it's also unfortunately associated with the whole flushing thing. Look for something called, uh, and this is kind of complicated, a, a big word here, so I'm just going to say it slowly, inositol, hexa, nic nicotinate. It's two words, inositol, hexa, nicotinate. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. There's also something called nicotinamide, and that may also have some no flush effects. But what I would be doing is I'd be using the um, the timed release niacin. That's no flush. The timed release niacin, and you can get a big high dose. The problem with the other kinds of niacin is you can't get the good high dose of it. Niacin is important for helping lower blood fats. It's important for diabetics. It's got mental health issue, uh, mental health benefits. It's been used to treat social anxiety dis disorder. It's got uh, just mood stabilizing effects in general. It's tremendously valuable for the heart and for the circulatory system in general, as, as is evidenced by the fact that it opens up blood vessels. It's a great you know, a, a supplement to take to lower your blood pressure. I mean, it's just absolutely mind-blowingly phenomenal. It's a natural statin drug. I, there's no there's no good reason to not take niacin, a uh, good dose of niacin every day. I put it in my blemish repair complex. It's, niacin is really important for skin health. It's important for the health of the digestive system. Folks with dementia issues may benefit from it. Anything else that you want to ask? Does that cover yeah, it? Uh, final final question: Should I be concerned about using raw eggs in my uh, with, with almond milk I wouldn't, in a way? Uh, I wouldn't. The, 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 why? Because of the salmonella. The, 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 Salmonella, yes. So the only thing with salmonella is make sure your eggs are fresh. Make sure there's no cracks in the shell. Um, you might want to clean the shell first. Uh, they're typically, you know, they're not going to be dirty, but you might want to wash it first. No, I wouldn't be concerned. The fact is that a raw egg has got so much nutritional value, it's tragic to cook it away, to cook it away in my opinion. So uh, you'll have to make your own decision on that, but I wouldn't be concerned about it. Well, thank you for your courtesy. Sure. Have a beautiful day. Good to talk to you, Rodney. Take care, man. All right. Let's see if we can get one more call in. Janice in Michigan. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Um, I have a question about uh, a friend who wants to avoid knee replacement. And um, the uh, Dr. Wallach had said the body can grow cartilage. Um, what would you suggest? Well, for yes and no. The body can grow cartilage. It grows everything. I get, I get this question a lot. Well, I heard that you can't regrow cartilage. Of course you can regrow cartilage because the cartilage you have today didn't exist yesterday. The body's constantly turning it over. Right. The so. problem is, is you can't speed it up as well as you can other tissue because there's not a lot of blood supply to the cartilage. And here's the answer to your question. If you got a guy or a friend whose knee, whose cartilage is so worn down that now he needs to have a knee replacement or a hip replacement, then you've got a very seriously deteriorated condition and it's going to take a while to build that up. It's not like you're going to build it up right away. How long? And during, uh, it's, there's no way to know. I mean, I can't tell you an answer to that. It's going to be a gradual process. Uh, so where you know, would we're you at, start? I was, uh, bone soup. Bone soup every day, gut health. Uh, hang on, Jen. Okay. Jen, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you off air. Okay. So stay on your okay. phone. Stay on. Okay. We're gonna we got Joey Dwight coming up at the bottom of the hour, uh, talking weight loss. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific at 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also check out our blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and brightsideben.com and purchase longevity products right off the website. And also, don't forget about our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com. I have a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com. Also, our retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, silicon oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Check, it, check them all out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So, you know, on this program, we are dedicated to your health on all ways, your health 
your beauty, your appearance in all ways, psychological, spiritual, mental, as well as physical, mental, emotional, as well as physical. One of the most significant health challenges that anybody's going to have ever have to deal with is weight loss and obesity. And obesity, we know, is associated with all kinds of health challenges on its own, diabetes and uh, cancer and fibrosis and arthritis and autoimmune disease. And all of this has to, uh, all of this is associated with the inflammatory factors. That's true. You, uh, fat produces inflammatory factors. This is something we're really just beginning to understand, that your fat's an organ. Your fat produces things, and increasing the amount of body fat that you're carrying will throw off hormone balance just as much as eating the wrong foods will, or thinking the wrong thoughts, or taking the wrong medication, or taking medication in general will. So losing weight is not just a beauty and health issue, it's also, or a beauty issue, it's also a health issue, and that's why I am so excited to have our next guest on, Joey Dweck who's going to be talking about the heavy price of weight loss. We spend billions of dollars on weight loss every year, but we are still fatter than ever. Joe, are you there? Yeah, Ben, thanks so much for having me on. It's a pleasure. Yes, it's a pleasure to talk to you as well. I love the work that you're doing. Uh, Joey has a, Joey's website is weightlossbuddy.com, and there's a really cool quote that uh, Joey told me about this morning right on the top of the page. You can't help someone up a hill without getting closer to the top yourself. Uh, Joey, is, did you, are you a, 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 a weight loss, a successful weight loss story yourself? Actually, no. <laughs> no. I've always been thin. <laughs> okay. All right. So where did this uh, quote come from? Oh, tell me about this quote. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not sure if I had seen it before uh, at the, uh, or uh, uh, something like it, maybe a General Schwartz quote. But I think I'm credited with the quote, but I'm not really sure that uh, maybe it was ruminating in my mind. But it really speaks to what we do, Ben. Um, tell, tell us uh, what you do. Yeah, let, tell us what you do. Let me let me go back. A, let me go back a drop, and I think you'll you'll uh, enjoy. I'll take you on a short short trip. Um, my wife Nan and I had our first child when she was 38, and um, our last daughter when she was 44. So the struggle to lose that, you know, the baby weight you put on was a real challenge for her. Uh, she felt frustrated, you know, and as understandably. And she frequently complained to me, this was, oh, 15, 16 years ago, uh, that she wished she could talk to someone who was in the same position, you know, same age, because her friends already were raising teenagers. And that gave me uh, the idea for weight loss buddy then. Um, back in those days, in 2001, 2002. The old days? Uh, you mean the old days? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm older than you. So that's okay. <laughs> All right. There was uh, there was no Facebook. Uh, there was a uh, a site called MySpace. Yeah. And um, still around. And um, I had this idea of crowdsourcing. Uh, and when Nan said that to me, I said, "Wow, this is a great idea. Let's let's see if we couldn't uh, build a community around weight loss." So think of weight loss, buddy, as a cross between Weight Watchers and Facebook. That's the that's the really oh. the best. Way I get to, it. To All right. It, so okay? people can. It's, it's, it's like social. Yeah, it's, it's like a social media for people who want to lose weight. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Gotcha. Exactly. And I noticed on the site you also have news stories, expert of the month, and team of the right. month. So you. So it's it's like a weight loss social social site where people who want to lose weight can kind of concentrate and tell their stories and see other stories and get other articles and tips. Eight hundred. That's exactly right. That's, That's exactly awesome. right. But That's you know, people ask me, okay, so what is it? And I have to tell you, sometimes. Every every morning, uh, I had a published uh, a magazine called Skinny News, which after I lost, don't ask how much money I, I stopped publishing. But uh, I still look at the news every the you know all of the um, health news every morning. And, um, and on February second, in uh, in a journal called uh, Health Communication. Um, there was a, there was an article about uh, learning what to say to coworkers and those close to you who feel envious or threatened by your dieting success. Isn't that interesting, mm, right? That is interesting. You know, um, yeah, we, 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 look. So you gotta be careful about are, telling, you don't wanna tell too many people, how, or the wrong people, that you lost uh, 50 pounds or 40 pounds. Will they yes, feel guilty? Well, they'll, they'll feel guilty? Yeah. Or does it, is that what it is? This, no, what, what happens then is they're threatened. Look, we all like, we know we all have friends and colleagues and wives and spouses and significant others, and we're comfortable. You know, we build our lives around that. And then all of a sudden, if someone um, 
begins to break the mold that we're used to them being in. Mm, you know, they mm. begin to exercise or become active or lose weight. You know, then sometimes people become, gee, I, I, I hope my, my, my wife doesn't, you know, become too attractive to other people or, oh, you, know, wow. or you, you know, and uh, it becomes a threat. So That's interesting. So weight loss buddy, yeah, weight loss buddy was meant to be uh, someone who you can reach out to, whether it was across the street, across the state, or across the country, who was not in your immediate circle, who was not uh, part of of your group, and you could reach to when you were you felt the need and the urge to change. Does, does that make any sense? It makes total sense, and you know, it's it, it, there's there's something about support that is really valuable whenever you're trying to make a change because change is so difficult to do. But through, with support, I've always found that things that are difficult to do or give, difficult to get through can be made much easier. And that's basically what you're offering here. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So we flip it on its head. And then I'll tell you in what way. How, People okay. come and say, wow, well, I, I really could use a weight loss buddy. I have to lose X, Y, Z pounds and I need somebody to motivate me. But we say, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Go on the site and find someone that you can help. Oh, okay. wow. That's because where the quote if comes you, from. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's oh. where the quote comes from. So you flip if it you on its head. Help. You flip it right. on its head. That's great for life in general, by the way. That's not yes. just for weight loss. That's a life strategy. And you know, you know Zig Ziglar was, I'm sure, right? Remember yeah, Zig Ziglar? So Zig Ziglar sure. used to say, you can get anything you want if... Remember what he said? Give if, people what they want. If you help enough people get what they want. That's exactly right. And that's the biggest mistake I believe we make when we're trying to get something or accomplish something or, or achieve something in our lives is we think it's about us. And the, the way right. to achieve something is to make it about somebody else, right? That's right, beautiful. Exactly. So exactly. you, look, and you then, look for somebody you can coach. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, we wow. Have one, of the, one of the biggest issues, and now this is not, it's not fair to paint uh, paint a, a philosophy, you know, with broad strokes. But a, a lot of people, of course, have metabolic issues. Okay, let's put that aside. But the greatest uh, majority of people who um, who have weight issues are uh, emotional eaters. They use what, now. What do you mean by that? What, what do you mean? Okay. They eat. They don't eat when they're hungry. They eat when they feel bad, or they eat when yeah, they yeah. No, when they're stressed. Yeah. Under stress. Yeah. I'm one of those, by the way. I can totally relate. Hang on a second. We've got to take a break, okay? okay. Don't go away, Joey. Go All right. We're talking to Joey Dweck of Weight Loss Buddy, weightlossbuddy.com. If you're trying to lose weight or even if you're just interested in, in health health issues, weightlossbuddy.com is a super cool website. We'll be back right after this on the bright side. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Joey Dweck about his website, weightlossbuddy.com. If you are trying to lose weight or you know somebody who's trying to lose weight, this is definitely a site you want to check out. It's got experts and blogs and uh, expert of the month. I love that, expert of the month and news stories as well as social media kind of things from people just making comments. It's a super cool website, Joey. Uh, we got so much. Thank you. Thank there's so many, so many things I want, I want to ask you here, but I want to really talk. I want to hit uh, the main idea or one of your main ideas when it comes to weight loss, which is the idea of fasting. We talk about this all the time on this program. It's a hallmark of what I call the bright side philosophy of fasting as well as intermittent fasting. Tell us a little bit about, well, tell us a little bit about fasting in general as you see it. And then also I want to get into your five-day fast diet. Okay. The first thing that, that I have to say if, I'm, if, I, if I was going to be limited to one minute is that fasting itself is not a solution to weight loss. Okay, that's that's the first thing I have to say to be totally good honest. Point. Even very good point. Even the inter, you know, I, I don't want to go there. All right. Yeah. Um, the studies that were done on fasting and they were they were done uh, extensively throughout the years uh, showed that they increased lifespan, made people healthier by restricting calories. Uh, you increased the, the stress on the cells. Uh, they did. They went through a process of autophagy, increased that, which, which, you know, which is really healthy. So you have to think of the intermittent fast as a springboard for a change. Okay. Yes, you will lose weight on the five-day fast diet. You will, but and you'll keep it off for a month. But it's not. It's it's just a catalyst for a lifestyle change. Does that make any mm -hmm. sense? Ben? 
Yes, it's not. And also, if you just simply fast and you don't make other adjustments to to your lifestyle, your body may not. It won't. It just won't you. Uh, your body adjust to the caloric restriction and yeah, not lose uh, as much weight. Of course, of yeah. course, it stops. It stops. You know, lowers its metabolism. But the right. five day fast diet was based on some work on the University of Southern California longevity lab, not weight loss lab, longevity uh-huh. lab. Right. And they and they showed that all the markers moved in the right direction. It was it's really uh, quite interesting. So it's not a fast, so it's a fast mimicking fast. It's a fast diet Got that it. limits 1100 calories on day 1 and 750 on days 2 through 5 and we've had a lot of success with it. Again, do you do you ever people get people healthier? Do you ever get to splurge? Do you ever get to splurge and just eat a whole bunch not of calories? On the, not on the five days. We we send the I, look. I'm going to drop a box to you, okay? And oh, uh, oh it's a system. To, it's a system. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, it's a box uh, of five day, uh, you know, individually bagged days. You can take it with you to the studio. Oh wow! It's, it's 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 just great. We're very very proud of it, and I won't back you into a corner if you decide, hey, this is not for me. Okay. No, so I'm we'll, uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Now, how can uh, anybody who's listening who wants to participate? What do they what do, yeah, what the do they five, need to do? The five day the five day fast diet dot com. Are you in Burns Burnsville? Is that where you are? No, no, I'm in uh, Denver and Boulder. Oh, stay with me. I'm gonna when we get off. I'm going to uh, uh, get that. Your address, okay? Okay, good. I, I, do want to, I do want to send something to you. That's awesome. Now, you say it's not just about calories. Correct. What, it's, tell it's me about, about that. The ratio, it's about the ratio of, um, of carbs to proteins to fats. And interestingly enough, it's not a high-protein diet. Um, okay. You can get fat from to... protein. You can get fat from protein, right? You can get, yeah, you can you can get fat. Food. Yeah, you can, but that's not that's not the thrust of it. Again, I I wish I could take credit for it, Ben, but I can't. You know, I stood on the shoulders of giants, um, like Newton said, and yeah. I just took the data that they did and incorporated it into a you great ma- great stepping stone. Yeah, you made it into a product. You made it into a practical thing that right. people could use, a system that people could exactly. use. And I, and I want to talk about this ratio thing, though. It's very fascinating to me. I always talk right. I talk a lot on this program about the ketogenic diet, which is a ratio right. diet. In, in the sense that it's uh, you got to have low carbs and high fat. You can't just have high fat. If you have high fat Correct. with high carbs, you're going to gain weight. But it's the right. uh, high fat in the presence of low carbs, right? And low calorie Correct. too, by the way. Ketogenic diet is a low Correct. calorie diet. So it's a, it's Correct. not just about it's not just about the carbs or the fats, or the proteins. It's the proportion of each as they're related to each other. So what do you find is an, a good ideal uh, a good ideal proportion or ratio? Well, is there? you know, everybody, that's, a, that's an excellent question. I'm going to answer it. I'm not going to scoot around it or avoid it. Everyone is different. So the ketogenic diet works for some people. Uh, some people like the commercial diet. But we don't, we don't, play, that, uh, we don't play that game. What we say is uh, if, if you do this intermittent fasting, the five-day fast diet, you'll put, you'll put the numbers in, in, in place, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the sugar, the insulin numbers, the fat numbers, the cholesterol numbers. I'm telling you, we, we have data to, to support it. We've done clinical trials here in Jersey, and, they, and it works. And then nice. you have a transition diet, and then you should do what works for you. So a diet not, that, I don't want to go to that ketogenic or uh, got it. Or, uh, got, I, you know, love I don't it. want to do that. I, I love what you're there. saying. Love what you're saying because everybody's going to be different. Biochemical individuality. Roger Williams, Dr. Roger Williams, used to say. And I don't like the idea of one steady diet or just good foods and bad foods and eliminating this and eliminating that uniformly 100%. across the board. Everybody's going to be different in their biochem. We should learn to trust our bodies and listen to our bodies. So, hundred. I'm totally on board with, with what you're saying. How tell right. folks? Uh, first of all, what's this going to cost? folks well we we're going to be having a right now it costs 99 dollars a month we're going to have a price rise on uh, march 1st to, to 129 for the five days um it's it's really not a lot given what you get and given all the work that went behind it um and you get we have an app that you can keep track of what you're eating during the day but the best thing for me to do is for me to send you a box because one picture is worth a thousand words and you'll i think you'll all you'll, right You'll Deal. love it. Deal. I love what you're doing, by the way, Joey. Uh, Thank you. Can I give out your phone number here? 888-532-9... Yeah. Okay, if, if folks want more information, yeah. 888-532-9327. 888-532-9327. It's the 5 
and that's the number five, Day Fast Diet, fivedayfastdiet.com, right. and the number five, and also the website, weightbuddy.com. Even if you don't want to do this, I, I imagine people get a lot of good information off the website as well. Oh, I love the, ex- tons, tons, I, I love the expert thing. So you came up with a Facebook for people who want to lose weight, and there's only about 150 million people probably who want to lose weight, or probably more. Maybe <laughs> I don't even know how many people, including me, by the way. I lost 50 pounds a few you years ago. I saw you. Oh, you saw me, all right? Yeah, I lost 50 pounds uh, about six years ago and i've been keeping it off and and you know what it, it at, i'm going, going to be 57 years old here pretty soon it's like you look Probably. at food you look at food man and you just eat you just gain weight i could gain 10 pounds oh. in a day no problem and i know oh, you were before we went to break you were talking about emotional eating and i love that idea because i'm that that's how i eat and it's not just for emotions it's when you're under stress and the stress can be something as little as just thinking about something unpleasant or maybe having to do something do a project that you don't want to do and you find that you're oh, going for food sure. right and that's sure, a big look, problem. You're in a, you're in a stress business. You're in the you're in the media. And you know, you know you're working I, on milliseconds and seconds and, you, and, and advertisers and my goodness. Yeah. Like, God have bless. you ever seen how, how, you how have you ever seen how big us radio folks are too? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> radio people tend to be tend to have. Well, we all have. Everybody seems to have weight issues, and it has a lot to do with our food supply too. You know, the kind of foods that most of us are forced, unfortunately, to subsist on, especially if you're going fast. Do you have strategies too for people who want to uh, eat well when they're on the road, or eat well when they're at work, or, or somehow be able to satisfy? Their their food needs for food without having to go to McDonald's or or go to the fast food. That's a, that uh, the the answer is if if I if I had that answer I'd be talking to Matt Lauer. You know? Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, there, then <laughs> will, does does willpower ever have to kick in? Because I have none of that. No. Well, willpower. <laughs> you know, there are there are books on willpower. Um, uh, I don't know if you've ever read any. Have you read any of the books? On I read willpower? a book called Willpower a few years ago. Yeah. And talked to, you know what I'm talking about, and it's and talked all about the importance of willpower. And I was thinking, as I was reading the book, I was thinking, God, I got none of it. You know, really? and that's I, no, I really don't. Do. I don't. I have to be motivated or really want something in order for willpower to kick oh. in. If you don't, if I don't really want it 100 percent, no amount of willpower. I don't have the amount of willpower that can that can compel me to do what I need to do. But in any case, we're out of time. Uh, Joey Dweck, it's been a total pleasure talking to you. I'm going to uh, I'm, when we disconnect, I'll call you. Give me about 20 minutes or half an hour. I'll give you a call. OK. And I'd love to I check love out it. your program. Ben, and so and I love what you're doing. On. Thank you for doing the thank you for doing the good work, Joe. We'll talk to you soon. All right, that was Joey Dweck. His web, website is weightlossbuddy.com. It's like a Facebook for folks who want to lose weight, social media for folks who want to lose weight, and it's it's really a, a super cool website. And his uh, his uh, diet is called the Five Day Fast Diet. Call. 888-532-9327, 888-532-29327 if you want inf- more information. Uh, thank you, Joey, for being on the air. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about fibromyalgia, and we'll talk more about connective tissue. Still want to talk about connective tissue in the skin. Want to talk about connective tissue and cellulite and uh, strategies that you can use, of course, to deal with this unifying unifying factor, the, the theory of everything when it comes to disease, the connective tissue and connective tissue deterioration and fibrosis and inflammation, etc. All right, that's all for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular, awesome day. We will talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.